We're ready for another day of production at the Sailboat Company of Naples. We start off with all of our Kanbans full. Components and sub-assemblies throughout the whole production line. We're waiting for that first order. The order has just come in and it's an order for six sailboats. Six FP1s. Let's move those over to shipping so they can get sent out to the customer. Off they go. Now work center number three has received a signal, a visual one, that says it's time for you to start producing. So we need to take some SA3s from the output Kanban of work center number two, add some GPS systems, and begin to fill our outgoing Kanban. So let's do that. Now as we are building these, work center number two is beginning to feel a sense of need to begin to start to produce because they're seeing that their outgoing Kanban is being completely depleted of all of its sub-assemblies. Now a signal now goes to the vendor that says we need to replenish our GPS's. A signal now has gone to work center number two to begin to build SA-3s. That signal now is telling work center number two get your SA-1s and begin to add your cabins and cockpits to begin to produce your SA-3s. Whoops. Now as we're sending signals to the work centers, it's also sending signals to our vendors to make sure that they replenish our stock. Alright, now the signal's now being sent we need raw material and we also need sub-assemblies number one. So that's going to translate into we need to build some hull and sail assemblies and fill this Kanban. Well that's how the Kanban pull system works and our outgoing Kanbans are now full so we can stop producing until we get the next signal. Meanwhile, we need to get some replenishments of hulls and sails and cabins and cockpits and GPS systems and then we'll be ready to rock and roll once again.